Hello and welcome to this video where we're talking about spread betting on equities presented by spreadbettingportal.com But first of all, what are equities? Well, equities really is a fancy word for company shares. Um, any company that is essentially a PLC, a public limited company or an inc, an incorporated one, uh, is usually owned by its shareholders. And um, basically shareholders simply buy stocks, shares, to invest in a company to to expect the sh with the expectation that the share value will increase and eventually at some point to receive a, a a share in the profits paid out in what are called dividends so that that is essentially what an equity is it's um it's equity within a company the equity markets um are where sort of groups of um, these shares are electronically traded and tra traded um, in uh, in the region stock market, for example, in the UK we have the London Stock Exchange, known as the LSE, and um, the equity markets are usually presented in groups of shares, um, representative of certain functions based on you know uh, various combined values or different uh, sectors or anything like that. But the most common that we've heard of in the UK is the FTSE 100. This seems to be the one that's usually uh, presented in the news um, over and over. And basically, it's, it's it was one that was created a long time ago by the Financial Times. The SE stands for the Stock Exchange, and the 100 part is the top 100 UK companies. And um, these are usually presented as an index. Um, so these in, uh, in these groups of equities shares are put together as one all added together uh, in, as 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 a value and presented in a chart in its own right called an index and this is what's presented and represented by say for example the FTSE 100 so let's look at the differences between spread betting and say trading shares well trading shares uh, normally involves buying a number of shares doesn't it? that's quite obvious so let's use our company XYZ, our fictitious company, which is doing pretty well. It's trading at eight pound per share. Now, what would we have to do if we wanted to buy a thousand shares? Well, we'd have to spend eight thousand pounds for starters, and that's uh, a lot of collateral to spend straight in one go. If, certainly, if we're looking to just take of a short take uh, benefit from a short term move, which we're expecting. Um, so. Trading shares, as we can see, is, is pretty costly and time-consuming and requires a, a, a lot of money. Um, and usually by the time we're in the position to buy the shares and so on, the, the move that we're hoping to take advantage of really has passed by. So trading shares in terms of looking to make short-term gain from uh, price movements within the market that are relatively short-term is not really the best way to go. Shares are kind of a, a long-term view really if you if you're looking at that and even then you know there, there's a disadvantages because they can only make money when they're going up um so you know we can't profit with shares if the market's going down of course there's a key difference with 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 actually buying shares and then trading equities shares with spreads and there's huge advantages so firstly, you have to understand that spread betting is based partly on the futures market and that the trade is geared, usually 10 to 1, sometimes higher. It really does depend um, on whatever it is you're trading and uh, the type of account of you have and, and, and the broker itself. So, But usually, as I say for this example, it usually is 10 to 1. Um, so that means for us that we only need one-tenth of the cost of the share times the amount that we're looking to, to buy to to control that value in shares so for instance 800 pounds controls the same 8000 pounds of shares 1000 shares that that we would have had to spend in in buying the shares so we're spending 10 times less to control the same amount now because spread bets are based on the futures markets and their contracts and the futures markets allows you to go long which means looking to benefit from the market going up 
as well as going short. So we can trade bearish when the market's going down as well. So we can trade both directions. Whereas obviously, if you're buying uh, 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 equity, actual share in in a company, you can only profit when that when the company's doing well, when when the market's going up for that trade um, for that share. So here we we have the advantage of doing both. The disadvantage in so far as that our trade has no value. We're, we're not actually buying anything. All we're doing is we're placing a bet against, our, you know, against our spread betting company as to which direction that particular trade will go in. So the more we're right in one direction, the more we'll profit, and the more we're wrong, the more we will lose. It's as simple as as that. It it is just a bet against. Uh, uh, it's the spread betting company as to which direction a particular market will move. There is protection though against nasty surprises and uh, they basically in, they use uh, what they call the stop loss. Now stop loss is a price level set when you open the trade to close that trade automatically if hit. And we can adjust these up or down to move up and down with, say, the, the fluctuations of the trade. Say if it's going up when, and from when we first opened it and we want to do what we call locking in profit. So we will move the stop up um, higher and higher along with the trade going higher and higher to lock in some of that profit. Or well, say, for instance, if the market is fluctuating and it, it's a trending market, but we don't want to be what's called stopped out where the, the stop is hit, we we, we we widen it to increase our exposure and risk as a result, but we're looking to, say, take advantage of a trend that's happening. Now, there are different types of spread. There are daily rolling bets, which are incredibly common nowadays. Uh, these are come sometimes um, now tend to be f uh, called daily funded bets. Uh, essentially, they're just opened uh, when the market opens and then closed when the market closes each and every day. Um, the benefits are is that you're, you're you're spending a little bit less on the spread um, and you get the profit at the end of, it, of every day and the loss if there's any uh, and then the trade is reopened again the following day um, or you can use what are called um, the contract dates um, from the futures market so you can use the quarterlies which uh, come out on the Decem December, March, June and September these are the months that they are uh, go up to and they tend to close on the third Friday of each of those months. Uh, you can open them at any time. Um, they usually tend to have them up in up to a year in advance. And the benefits of that is if you're looking say at more of a long term view, uh, they could be worthwhile because the trade isn't being opened and closed each and every day. It's just opened and stays open until you close it or until it reaches that particular third Friday in that particular month of that contract. Um, the spreads tend to be a bit wider to begin with um, simply because it's a longer term trade. So essentially all we're doing is we're controlling a lot more for less uh, and as a result it can carry or does carry a much faster risk of loss due to the gearing. So um, for each sort of um, one one point move in uh, in the live price would have a tenfold impact on our uh, margin that we've used as a deposit on that trade. Conversely to that, it carries an equal or faster gain um, on, that can go in our favor too. So, you know, it really is swings and roundabouts. So there are advantages, of course. You can control a hell of a lot more equity in the same company for much less money, usually 10 times. You can profit when the market goes up in value. And more importantly, this is key, you can also profit when the market was, is going down. The disadvantages, however, um, are relatively small comparatively. You don't own any stock. You're not buying anything at all. It's just a bet against you and your broker or you and your spread betting company. You will not receive any dividends. So if the company that you're trading is making money and there's due for a dividend payout you're not going to get any of it um, so your trade has no intrinsic value um, the, the other disadvantage is that you can lose money very quickly because of that gearing 
So here we have um, an example which we're going to be showing you on uh, IG Index um, portal on their uh, trading uh, account. And um, what we'll do is we'll place a trade on their demo account. Um, we'll show how easy the tools are to use um, and uh, we'll show you the, the types of charting that becomes available and um, uh, how you open a trade and so on. So uh, we'll begin that video in a second. Here we have the trading portal for IG Index. Um, IG Index are probably one of the best um, spread betting companies out there. They've certainly been around since the inception of spread betting because uh, the founder of IG, uh, Stuart Wheeler, actually invented spread betting. So uh, they've been around since um, the very beginning. And they're new. Uh, they've re just, just recently released this new version of uh, their, their uh, trading portal to clients um, just recently. So it's, uh, it's, it's very new in the latest one. Um, but you will find very m many of the things that you see here are available to a, a lesser or, or greater degree in, you know, in various aspects um, in other um, trading platforms as well. Uh, but you will, you will find these three things essentially. You will have on the left an area where you can search for a particular equity or um, uh, forex pair or commodity or whatever it is that you're looking for. Then you'll have your watch list, which is the things that you've added to uh, keep an eye on. And then you'll have um, a charting tool um, which will provide various means of uh, enabling you to analyze charts. And as you can see here, it's defaulted to candlesticks, which um, has We've discussed in a previous video, uh, you know, becoming possibly the um, the standard um, way for for people to do uh, analysis. And and really, it it is very simple to um, place a, a trade. Obviously, this is a demo account. I have to point out the, the, these aren't real. This isn't real money. It's not a real hundred thousand pounds. Unfortunately. So we're going to place um, a demo trade on BP. And what we're going to do is this has been actually recorded on a Sunday. Um, now, this uh, is, is deliberately being recorded on uh, over a weekend is because that's partly when a lot of people, most people work, would want to look to be placing a trade, usually outside the market. Uh, when it's open, you know, you get you work in during the day, you get home, you want to be able to place a trade. And the market's closed at that point. Um, so when when it's closed, you're unable to be in a position to place an immediate trade. So what you do is you place an order for a trade based on a value. And um, they're, they're really very straightforward. Um, so here we have our charting tool and we want to look at BP. So we'll look at BP's chart, It'll come up. And the reason why I want to look at BP's chart is because if you've been watching some of our other videos on trading techniques, you'll see that we have a potential setup for a swing trade. Um, if we get some drawing tools and we get a trend line if we put that at the very tip there we can draw a trend uh, a resistance it's not really a trend obviously but we're using the tool to draw a trend uh, a line across so we have one there and will it allow us to do another one we do another one here uh, just at the bottom there is it going to do that uh, roughly round about there as we can see so we've got this range we can see this consolidatory range and as we can see on Friday uh, it closed 
um, pretty much at a point where it's retraced, where it's moved back, it's reached resistance from this um, point here. So we could see a fall. So we want to take advantage of that. So what we would do is we would click on BP and it's um, a, a daily funded bet that it's being opened. So it'd be opened, you know, if it does open, it'll be open uh, on a roll, what they call rolling. So it's opened at the beginning of the day and then closed at the end of the day and then any profit you get to keep. And then it's o at the end of that day and then it's opened again the following day until you stop it, basically. Um, there are also quarterly trades that you can enter which are based on the futures market. So we decide on our direction. So here we have the, the spread here. And this is in order to, to open. Obviously we can't deal straight away because the market's closed. So we're looking to sell. We're looking to go short. And our order level, all we need to do is look on this candle as we can see here. And we look at the high, the 47.7 something or other and then if we look at the very extreme on this candle probably is 470.63 so maybe if we get a high around about 47.63 maybe this one here 470.23 so 470.23, that's when we want to, to make it. And um, put 10 there. And it's a limit order because that's the limit that we want to pay for it. Um, a stop order would be, let's say if we're looking to sell at that point and... Um, we would, uh, so we're selling 470.23, good till cancelled. Basically means we're going to leave it running until it actually hits that amount. Uh, usually a good idea to use a guaranteed stop loss. We want the stop loss to be probably 10 points away from that. Um, and the limit we don't really oops if it's doing that oh hold on I knew that was um There we go. Um, so yeah, you can put a guaranteed stop, but the reason it was complaining is because it was saying my stop was um, too close away. The reason why I've got a relatively close stop there was because I don't want it moving up because if it breaks through this resistance line, chances are it's likely to break out of that consolidation. So I don't want to needlessly have to pay more than I want to for, for going short on it. So the deposit required for this, based on um, the margin requirements, um, are, is £170.53p. So we submit that, and we've, we've created that order. But obviously, with it being a demo account, it's not created a real order. It's asking us to open an account. But that's essentially how you would create an order based on a UK equity, we've got the BP that's within some analysis that we've used, um, which is basically a consolidatory um, uh, swing trade going down, uh, a bearish selling short uh, on a, a swing trade based on a consolidation with BP. So come visit us, come stop by and say hello, where we have many videos, incredible offers from some of the leading online spread betting companies at our brand new website, spreadbettingportal.com.
www.thepodcastnetwork.com.